Hi guys, uh, Windstorm Nintendo here, and I'm back with another Pokemon uh, Black and White Wi-Fi battle. So yeah, um, yeah. So as you can see, he has a Zorark on his team, and that thing will get annoying because um, every time I send out my Suicune, I usually like to use Psychic, especially on that Heracross and that Keldeo that he had. However, um, I'm not sure if those if it would be a Zorark, so I always had to test it out with either Surf or Ice Beam or Shadow Ball. So I, that would actually get annoying. So yeah, here's the battle. All right, so he's gonna lead off with his My Little Pony. <laughs> I really like the name on that. <laughs> um, I like Keldeo. It's a good Pokemon, at least I can say. So I lead with my Suicune. And I am going to go for the Surf, trying to see if this is the Zork. He misses with his first Focus Blast, and I'm thinking that's telling me that that is the Zork after all, because most Keldeos do not carry Focus Blast, at least that I know. And now I know that it is the Keldeo, and I'm locked into Surf, so I have to at least switch out once. So he goes, so I, <laughs> I go into my Shadow Man, which is my Yen Mega, and he goes for the Focus Blast, and even if it does hit, it does, won't do much, so I will take it, because uh, I am quad resistant, but he must be specially offensive, because that does more than what is the recommended dosage for a Focus Blast hit. <laughs> um, so I am just going to go for my, uh, what's it called, Detect, trying to stall out some time. So he brings in his Google, which is his Flying On, and yeah, I Detect but it fails, but uh, doesn't matter. So I still get a free speed boost off, which is fantastic. So now I'm pretty sure I'm faster than the Flygon, but um, this tells me that this Google thing, um, well, the next turn tells me, because I do go for the Detect here, do get my speed boost up, he goes for a Flamethrower, and I get one more speed boost up, which is awesome. So yeah, uh, so I get my speed boost off again, and this tells me right here that he is the Zorark in disguise, because he goes for the flamethrower. It does, uh, it does kill me, but what tells me is the fact that since I got plus two speed up, he must be the Zorark, considering that I am that I am plus two, and he must be EV trained in special attack and speed. So I go into my Goku, and. I just want to go for like a U-turn or a close combat, and he withdraws his Zorork predicting that, so he goes into his My Little Pony, which I know is the real My Little Pony, it can't be anything <laughs> because he just switched out of it, so he goes, unless he has another Zorork, but he doesn't. So I U-turn out, and yeah, so I go, so when I U-turn out, it doesn't do really too much to that My Little Pony, so I bring him back, and I bring out my Suicune which can use Psychic. I'm really scared of him switching back into a Zorark, but then again, <laughs> I end up... He goes for the Focus Blast and misses again, and that is kind of haxy. So I go for the Psychic. It does end up killing the Keldeo, which is nice, but it's not really haxy, I guess, for that Focus Blast miss, because it does only have 70% accuracy, and you shouldn't be risking that all the time. I wouldn't, I would have even taken that. So he goes into his baddie, and I'm like, oh crud, I'm locked into Psychic. I cannot kill this thing without, out with a Psychic. And I really, really hate Poison Heal Glyscore. So I switch into my Azelf, seeing what he does, and he gets poisoned with his Toxic Orb. He sets up his rocks, and that's really bad on my part, because I did not want him to set up his rocks. But I don't really have anything that's weak to stealth rocks now that my Yen Mega is dead. So. He gets his Toxic Orb off, and he Swords Dances up, so I'm like, no, I'm not gonna risk anything. I'm just gonna go for the safe, the safe, um, explosion. And that does not kill the, uh, Gluskor, which tells me, oh crud, this is seriously going to get annoying. Because if I can't, if I don't have anything that's faster than it, I am not going to take this thing down anytime soon. So I end up getting this thing down to nearly, nearly low health, but he does get the poison heal off, so I go into my Suicune, hoping that I'm faster, and I pretty much am, because these things, well, I'm guessing that I'm not, unless he EV train in defenses, 
but I highly doubt that, or HP. So, he goes for the Ice Fang, and I was wondering why he went for the Ice Fang, why he didn't go for, like, a facade or something. So I go for my Ice Beam, and he may have misclicked there, I just realized that. So I end up killing the baddie, which is fantastic. Whew, I'm just really glad that I killed that thing off. It's a load off my mind. So he goes into his Google. I'm still wondering if this is the real deal or the Zorark. And I know this is the Zorark because it is faster than my Suicune. So I end up going for the Ice Beam still since I'm locked into it. He gets a critical there. Doesn't really matter. But I get the Ice Beam off. And this is easily going to knock this Zorark down to about half. So yeah, I really hate Zoroarks because I can never tell where they are or where they're at. This tells me that he's locked in, or, like got specs. And yeah, so that doesn't really do anything even with specs. I am specially and defensively bulky. So I go for the Ice Beam. It does end up uh, knocking this down to just a sliver of health, maybe about 3, 4 HP. One more flamethrower and one more ice beam will exchange, and this will kill off the Zorark. So my sweet, but he burns me with that flamethrower, which is really, really bad. If he hadn't have burned me there, he may, I may have actually gotten to kill more things with my Suicune. <sighs> I'm very tired at the moment. So that he gets that burn off, and I live with like 79 HP. And he sends out his Scrafty, and I think he's gonna want to set up on me. So I'm like, no. So I go for the Ice Beam, trying to fodder out. Um, I'm trying to fodder out with my Suicune. This does take a nice chunk out of that Scrafty. I'm pretty sure that critical mattered. Um, so he sets up his Dragon Dance, but with plus one speed, I don't think he's faster than my Suicune, maybe plus two. Uh, so I'm really scared of this thing, but if that was critical, then I probably could get off an Ice Beam that will kill off the Scrafty. So I do leave the burn with like 29 HP, and I go for the Ice Beam, and it does end up killing off the Scrafty. And even when burned, my Suicune continues to kill stuff. So that's awesome. My Suicune finally does die off, and I'm like, oh no, what am I going to do for that Flygon? So I send him my Come At Me, which is my Dugdrio, and he sends out his Heracross. Yeah. And I set up with my Home Claws. I think, no, yeah, I set up with my home claws, and then, uh, I will try and go for the life orb plus one accuracy and attack earthquake, but, uh, he goes for the bulk up, and this earthquake would have done more if, uh, he hadn't done that bulk up, so I get off my earthquake finally, and I didn't know that bug was resistant to earthquake until now. At least, so it doesn't do too much, and this was critical. Didn't really matter, because it still didn't do much. So, yeah, critical. And I lose some of my HP. So, uh, he's gonna go for one more bulk up. And I'm really scared of this thing at the moment. If this thing is carrying Mega Horn Substitute, I'm pretty sure this thing is either gonna carry a close combat or the combo of Focus Punch or Substitute or Substitute. And I'm like, oh no, I really, really don't like that set. So, I'm going to bring my Dugdrio back and go into my Goku, just trying to kill off the Heracross. Um, I forgot that I switched both of my Life Orbs, one to my, uh, what's it called? I forget what I switched one onto, but I switched one onto my Dugdrio, and I'm actually Choice Banded, and I could have easily killed off this stupid, um, Heracross if I realized I was banded, because I do go for the Sora's Dance here, and that was really dumb on my part. I need to memorize my items before I go into battle, so I Sora's Dance out, trying to, s well, I guess, no, I'm not even going to make excuses for myself. Um, he is going to Mega Horn, but miss, and I'm like, oh, thank you so much. I am really glad that Mega Horn is not really good accuracy in 5th gen. <sighs> Man, I'm tired. So I switch out, go into my uh, Teen Titan, trying to take something like Mega Horn. <sighs> and yeah, stones do tons of damage to me. Well, for entry hazard. So he's going to go for the substitute, and I know that he just has Focus Punch, because that is seriously going to get annoying. He's going to get more leftover recovery, and I'm just going to be like, alright, let's take this thing to the skies. 
So um, maybe this should be a toxic stall uh, haunch crow, or maybe even an acrobatics haunch crow with maybe dark gem. So I fly, and he does miss with his first focus punch because I'm in the skies. That's really helpful. So yeah, focus punch misses. But now that he's faster, he will be able to get off another focus punch when I land. So that totally, totally bites. But I'm at least able to get rid of this substitute. So I get some other throwers recovery. It's not going to really matter. Because when he charges up this focus punch, when I land with plus two defense and plus two attack, I am not going to live throw a focus punch. I kind of wanted to fodder out, but I guess not. So, it would have been quite effective. I'm not sure if it would have killed, because I am not running max attack or max defenses. Um, I do not EV train very much. It, even if I do have an EV trained Pokemon, I get it from someone else. I do not have the time or the patience to EV train, so deal with it. <laughs> but he's going to go for his focus punch and kills my Haunch Crow, which totally bites. So, I'm going to go into my Goku again. Uh, yeah. I'm going to go for the, uh, Flare Blitz here. Now that I am able to get it off, I get off my Flare Blitz, and now my attack is about 600. Um, so that's awesome. If I didn't have a band, um, I would have been able, if I still had a way to increase my stats by 50%, I would have been at 1200 attack with that Swords Dance up with band, but I forgot. So he goes into his Google. I'm just like, am I faster than this thing? I'm pretty sure I am, because most things run max special defense, max, well, max HP, max attack, I guess. So I go for my Flare Blitz, and I'm surprised, even though I run Stab and Banded, this one hit KOs the Flygon, only because of Critical. I'm pretty sure that, no, I'm not even pretty sure, that totally did matter. However, looking at how much that did, I'm going to guarantee you that would have gotten it down to at least half where I could have easily switched into my Dugdrio and either Sucker Punched or Stone Edged that thing to death. So I hope you guys enjoyed this Pokemon Wi-Fi battle. Really good guy. Um, yeah, so I will see you guys next time on, yeah, so, yeah.